Do you ever find yourself in a box that you're squared in, like one of those 3D box that when you're in art school or in an art class, elementary school, the teacher shows you how to draw the lines back and the lid or the bottom of the box and it's transparent, but imagine yourself stuck inside that box, kind of like a glass box, an art installation. Well, this is why I'm outside today. I needed to get out of the box, the boxes that I've boxed myself into. My room, my office is a box and sometimes I get distracted by the things that are in there and I don't do the things that are most important. And I've been doing a lot of thinking lately about who I am and will I matter in this world and what is that I want to say? How do I want to change and improve people's lives? I haven't been as out, as gay as I could be, and what I mean by that is I'm fucking sick of not being a social disruptor. I really do want to disrupt the status quo. Um, I had a conversation this morning with my accountability partner in business and she made some interesting comments about me and that uh, I use the F word a lot in some of my writing and it caused me to pause and to think about why I do that. It's because I don't want to be in the fucking box and I am in the box. And we're all in a box. It's just a matter of whether or not we realize that and we can break down that box one line at a time, like that drawing I was referring to. But why do I swear a lot? Because I believe you should say what you want to say and mean what you want to say. It means that you can be the most authentic. Now I swear a lot when I'm talking, but I don't believe I swear excessively and just for the sake of swearing. What I mean is that sometimes when I want to say fuck, it's because it's a powerful word. And words do have meaning and words are powerful, but I don't think any word should be restricted. We have many languages and we have, I don't know how many hundreds of millions of words in all of those languages combined, but we have words for a reason. And anyone that tells you you shouldn't say something, fuck them. I'm sick of that. We only live on this planet for a short period of time, and we might as well make it count. Now, I'm just walking down the stairs on the other side of a cemetery. That thought is also on my mind because I was watching something a while ago, a bit of a motivational speaker talking about, what are you gonna remember when you're on your deathbed? Will you have any regrets? And this is the start of something new for me here talking about the things that hold us back, be that you've made the choice to be a successful business person or an entrepreneur, but you've let your health go, or maybe you've decided that you don't deserve to be in a relationship because you're too busy, or maybe because you grew up like I did and at 50 years old now, I was in the closet for a long time until I graduated from high school and I recognized that my being in the closet has formed and shaped very much who I am today and that I question a lot, that I'm very introspective, that I'm very solo, very much on my own. But I think now is the time for me to come out of my intellectual box that keeps me at home thinking the deep thoughts but not necessarily sharing them. We are all unique. We can all contribute something to the world to make it a better place. Well, I guess I'm making the declaration that I'm going to start doing things differently now. I don't exactly know where I'm going with all of this. I know it's going to have to do with health, with wellness, with thinking, with self-esteem, with how we view the world, with the rights of all people, of women, of gay people, the freedom from oppression, it's time. It's time to take that box that we drew on a little piece of paper and crumple it up and throw it away.